Whenever I wanna feel good, the place that I go is cloud nine. This is the place where I can be so free. When I'm feeling low, the place that I go is cloud nine. Cause this is my town, the place that I go is cloud nine. Come with me, take a journey down the road to cloud nine. One day you feel crushed, and then you feel fine in cloud nine. What is so special about this guy anyway? I don't know, there's something about him. RJ, I can't believe the way he behaved last night. My first impression of him was wrong. No, Mum, honestly, he's hardly ever like this. Can I get you something, Raj? How long have you been working here? I'm still quite new. Ah, I'm surprised everyone doesn't know. I know where your friend AJ works. You might want to go and pay him a visit. Johnny? Yeah? That cut on your lip. Where's that from? What's this? Where'd you get that cut from? Did you get into a fight at the holy party and as you hit you? <laughs> who told you that? Doesn't matter who told me that. Is it true? Do you know? Ajay's gonna wish he never met me. I wanna make his life a living hell. Now calm down, Johnny! Don't worry about it. He doesn't mean it. Did you hear what he said? He's going to make his life hell. Yes, he's angry, but he won't do anything. This is what men do when they're angry. They shout and stomp and everything, but they calm down soon enough. God, why is it me? What? Is this, is this all my fault? Don't talk such rubbish, Nisha. It's not rubbish. You think about it, Ma. Maybe I've, I've not raised him properly. He's not had a father to tell him what's right, what's wrong. No male role model. And, and I've obviously not done a good job. Come on, Nisha. It'll be fine. I hope so, Ma. I really don't need these problems. I know who can help. Who? Deepti. Uh, Ma, we've been over this before. She's taken. She's such a lovely girl, so polite. And when you were gone, she was such a help to me, you know. One day she came around with a box of sweets for me. We sat and spoke together. Johnny was with us too. Yeah, Ma, I know she's sweet. And her family, honestly, they must be so lovely. She's such a sweet, someone so special for Johnny. But I tell you what, Ma, the way Johnny's behaving, he's probably going to end up looking at Dipti through bars. Come on, Nisha. I worry about him. No. No, his surgery's been postponed. I, I think it's something to do with the paperwork. I don't know. I mean, the assurance has already warned him about drinking. So I don't think... I don't know. Anyway, listen, I've got to go. I'm keeping someone waiting. Okay, bye. Sorry about that. No worries. Looks like you run the show around here. You run the town. <laughs> Spaghetti Western reference. I like it. So, uh, what's it you wanted, mate? Um, just like you wanted to see me. No, you're the one who invited me to his office. Yeah, and don't you think it would be worth your while? I mean, listen, I just want to talk about what happened with AJ in our <laughs> conversation. Well, if I had it my way, that guy would be in the hospital right now with broken bones. And if it did happen, then he would have had it his way and you would have been in prison for assault. Yeah, but he started it, mate. And you would have waited a few days to carry out the job and you probably wouldn't use the weapon. More jail time. Hey, when that guy came to this town, yeah? He was nothing. It was nothing. Nobody even knew him. Nobody cared. I did. Right? And now, why well, he just throws it back in my face. Not just man to man. He does that in front of everyone. He does that in front of people that I've known my entire life. That he's only known for five minutes. Johnny, I share your frustration. People around here had respect for you. Had respect for you. Until he threw it all away. He makes me... So angry. Look, just calm down, Johnny, okay? Why? why? Raj, why do you keep holding me back? You should let me do what I want to do. Because it's the best way, Johnny. To avoid trouble? 
Is that is that what you're coming from? I don't care if I just rot in a jail cell. That's fine with me. As long as he doesn't walk around with that ugly smug on his face. Have you ever seen a cat hunt a mouse? What? Have you ever seen a cat track its prey? It grabs it right away and it goes for the kill when it needs it. That's a hungry cat. But the higher class domestic cat gets its prey, puts it in his mouth and toys with it and tortures it. And then? And then finally, it kills it. <sighs> See you, Ben. Yeah, bye. Hey, wait, 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 where are you going? To work. Why? Because that's what you do when you have a job, Archie. I know that, but it's not safe. Uh, will you let him go? I'm, I'm trying to watch Wendy here. Do you mind? Are you mad? What's got into you, Archie? All I'm saying is, what if Johnny's got like a big bat and he's gonna attack you or something? Now you know? who's being mad? Seriously, I went in yesterday and was fine. It'll be fine. Don't worry about it. No, you're mad, mate. Thanks for the vote of confidence, Ben. Trust me, I'll be fine. Wait. Say that. What, Archie? She's just trying to look out for you, mate. Yes, I know, but she's got to realise she's not my mother and I'm a grown man. Take this. And what's this for? If he tries to attack you, spray <laughs> it in his eyes. It works, it works! Bye, guys. Oi! Why did you just let him go? What? You know Archie can't defend himself. Have you seen the size of him? Oh, chill out with you, Archie. Do you think you could take on Johnny? No. So why did you let him go? Well, what's he gonna do? Like, stay inside all day, every day, and not go out in case Johnny's there? <laughs> You want to get Ange back so badly? He smack you around the face too. No, but just like you, he shows me up in front of people that I care about, in front of friends. Just like you, I've been caring for people for years here, and then all of a sudden he thinks he can swoop in and take the glory for people's work. He can't get in between people's friendship for a bit of entertainment. Friends, yeah. Yes. Mate, don't get cross with me, yeah. I'm on your side. I've seen the way you look at Simran. I know you two are close, I get that. I also see the way she looks at Adj. What are you trying to say? I'm just saying that you and Simran are only standing next to each other. You look perfect. Really, you do. Well, and she's next to Adj. Look, let's not forget why you're here. You have a score to settle, and I will help you do that. I'm sure he's made things a few difficult for you. Like what? Well, first thing, he messed the chances up with you and his sister. Then, I'm guessing he pretty much blew the chances with you and that pretty girl that you were with too. And that was just the first thing. What's there to say that he doesn't start flirting with other girls that you aim to be with in the future? Or, even worse, mess around with your own life? He wouldn't do that. Really? Like he wouldn't smack you at the holy party? Right there. Yeah. It needs to be dealt with. Simran, help me with this, please. Mum, I need to get this done. You heard Mr. Fredrickson going mad. But it'll only take you two minutes. Just help your mum. Okay, fine. Answer that first. Hi, Nisha. Hey, Simran. Simran, I was just wondering about your holy party. Oh, you think you missed out? I actually wanted to know about Johnny and Ajay. Uh, what, uh, what do you want to know? Did he hit my son? Yeah. Why, Simran? That is between Johnny and Ajay. I have no idea, to be honest. I mean, uh, one minute we're dancing, and then the next minute we turn around and see that Ajay has hit Johnny. <sighs> Simran, I'd, I'd, I'd like to speak to him. Who, Ajay? Yes, please. Do you know where he lives? You want to see him? Yes. Why? Simran, Johnny is angry, he's upset, he's going to do something, and I really don't know where he is. So if I can't find my son, at least I can go around and warn Ajay. Uh, number nine. Thank you very much. Okay, okay, bye. What's that, Nisha? What's she say? I need to call Ajay. What's happened? <sighs> Voicemail. What's wrong, Simran? Uh, she was asking about what happened with Johnny and Ajay, and she thinks Johnny would do something to Ajay. 
Do what? I don't know. I, I can't get through to him to, to warn him. Oh, don't worry about it. It'll all be okay. Who now? Ben. Hi? Ben, hi, it's Simran. Oh, Simran, uh, hi. Listen, do you, do you know where Ajay is? No, no, he's out at the moment. Yeah, yeah, fine, thanks. I'll speak to you soon. What's wrong? She hung up on me. Oh, you must be used to that, you know, we've been hanging up on you all the time. No. Oh, right, yeah. Women don't actually call you. <laughs> Simran. Instead of panicking, why don't you just call Raj? Raj, how, what, how would that help? He's a logical man. I'm sure he'll come up with something. No, no, it's fine. You've practically spoken to everybody else, so why not call somebody who might actually be able to help? Hmm? Okay. Hey, Simran. What? I don't think Johnny would do something like that. Look, I'll go and talk to Johnny and I'll go and find where AJ is. Not at home. Oh. Listen, don't worry, I'll I'll do my best to find him, okay? I'll speak to you later. Okay.